Hi, welcome to Art of Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you my April Hedgehog Holo Box. I'm the Art of Crafty Alchemist, let's get started. Now, this is super late because I still haven't had a chance to do last month's box because it needs an iron and I don't have one. So I was going to take it to my daughters to do there, but she ended up moving. <laughs> And so that's been a whole process. Spent a lot of time helping with that. We have a box this month and it has tape and a big hedgehog hollow sticker. Then we have black and white polka dots. First up is this gorgeous Critter Cubbies little postcard. Hi Hollowers, welcome to your April box. I can't tell you how excited I am to be including art impressions. Did you know I had a little store 10 years ago just selling AI stamps? This is such a special collection to me and I really hope you'll enjoy it too. The Hollow is busy this month. We have so many new things to share with you so be sure to check back often for lots of updates coming your way. Can't wait to share things that have been going on behind the scenes. Thank you for all your support as always. Our little Hollow family is continually growing and we couldn't do it without you all. Of Alexandra and the Prickle. The Midas Touched Aqua Shimmer Nouveau Pen, similar to a Wink of Stella, but the Nouveau version by the looks. Nouveau Hybrid Ink Pad, Black Shadow, which you're supposed to be able to use this with watercolours and with alcohol ink markers. Then there is some cardstock, green Swiss dots, pink Swiss dots, blue sparkle and yellow sparkle. Blue, very thick envelopes. A Hedgehog Hollow Pin. That's something new, I've not seen that one before. Peppermints. Red Bird. Some Art Impressions card bases, A2 8 pack, and we have eight envelopes to go with that. Then there is the Clear Art Impressions by Bonnie Krebs Birdhouse Cubby, and it has dies as well. We have the birdhouse, one, two, three, four, five, six different birds. From our nest to yours, a little birdie told me it was your birthday. And then we have these awesome dies. We have the birdhouse, all the birds, and then we have some vines and some flowers so that we can decorate up our birdhouse like this. I really like this set. I can't wait to dive in and get into it. I will work out what I'm gonna do and then come back. I have stamped a bunch of birds and cut them out, cut out a bunch of flowers, cut out a bunch of vines and leaves and cut out a critter cubby. To do that I have tons and tons of pieces of paper from practicing techniques. I just chose a random couple to stamp and cut out. This one was a shaving foam technique piece, distress ink, I think that's brushos. My daughter likes to play with brushos, but then she never does anything with anything she makes. So I've just pulled that one out. I've used the birdhouse cubby and stamps from the box. I am going to grab some pencils and add a little bit of color. I don't want a whole lot of color. I just want to darken it up a bit to define it from the rest of the cubby, the roof. I probably should have sharpened the pencil first. This is a Audi brush that I'm trying out. I'm not 100% sold on them. This one is not straight. I don't know if you can see that, but it curves. This is not really watercolour paper either, so I'm just trying to be very delicate. I'm going to try adding this fleshy type colour over the top. These are the Marvi Uchida colour pencils that I got in a box last year. By layering up flesh colour and the brown I got a slightly different colour. That doesn't look the same as the roof shingles. It's going to add a little bit of red. As I said, this isn't watercolour paper, so the pencil isn't spreading quite the way I'd like, so I'll end up picking some up and doing it that way. Hello, kitty. Yeah, sit here. Hey, kitty. <laughs> I'm trying to paint, and kitty's macking on my paintbrush. And we have some red awnings. I think I'll just add a little bit of brown to the doors just to make them stand out a bit better, but not a whole lot. Again, because there is yellow underneath, you get lots of yellow highlights, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to take the flesh colour again. 
just give that a minute to dry. Now I'm going to grab some of the brown again and layer it over the top. I'm pretty happy with how that looks, so I'm just going to move the pencils out of the way. I'm going to grab one of these Art Impressions card bases. Fold it in half. Bought a Teflon bone folder. I've used it once and now I've lost it. Anybody else like that? <laughs> oh dear. These are an off-white colour. I have lots of little birdies here. This is a letterpress background. I didn't end up working too much with my letterpress stuff because I had to leave these for about a week just to dry. They took forever. So I'm thinking I might use that as my background. I have trimmed that down to fit my card base and add that on there. I'm going to flip it over and add some foam tape. I have made sure there's enough foam tape behind it. I'm going to stick this down. I'm going to grab my Zig 2A because I'm going to add little dabs of glue and let it dry so I can work out where I want my little birdies. Now the glue has dried, I'm going to add these back in, press them on for now. <laughs> that one seems to need a little more glue. going to start working out where I want leaves before I start gluing them on. I'm just going to peel that tape off and slide that under there. Put it back over and now I've got it in place I'm going to stick the tape back over it. I'm going to add a little dab of glue to this guy's tail. A little touch to his feet. So I'm just pressing his little wing under there and under there. Now if you open the door you'll still see most of him. It's just his little tail. I'll take a tiny little dab of glue and push that under there. And a tiny dab of glue under. Okay, I know I want this little bird on there so I'm just going to add some glue now. And add that one on there. I'm just going to add a dab of glue right there to add that line on to. And then a little dab of glue and a little dab of glue on the wing. And then I'm going to grab a small square of foam tape to go behind that little bird. And then I'm going to add a tiny little bit on there and sneak it behind. Just going to slide that off a second and add a little bit of glue under there for that vine to hang on to. Going to add a dab of glue behind here to get this birdie to sit down a little better. I think I'll add a dab of glue just on here and stick this behind the bird. I don't think this birdie up here is down properly, so we need another dab of glue up here. A little bit too much glue. He needs a dab of glue behind his head, I think. Now I think all our birds are nice and secure. I'm just filling in with some vines. I think we need some more vine over here. Just going to add. Another leaf Yeah, Because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered going to find a shaping mat. I've just grabbed my silicon for embossing plates and it's got a nice amount of give so it helps. I'm just going to shape these. I'm going to flip, press. I'm going to do that with a bunch of flowers. Do them all at once. Just going around in circles inside each petal. Then flip and press. These ones are so tiny I'm just pushing down. I'll finish doing all of these and then I'll back. Okay, I <laughs> thought I'd hit record but I hadn't. But all I've done is place down some flowers where I think I might want them. And I'm just going to add a dot of glue on the back of them. 
I'm going to add the tiniest square of foam tape to the back of this one. I think I will leave that at that. I am grabbing the a little birdie told me it was your birthday and I'm going to find a scrap of cardstock. Stamped a little birdie told me it was your birthday. Change my mind. I'm going to take this little scrap and stamp a little birdie told me it was your birthday. And then trim this down. I used some of the leftover background from doing the birdhouse. I'm going to peel off. Oh, I've lost a flower. Where did you come from? I will stick that back on in a second. I'm going to peel off all these little back pieces. I haven't stuck every leaf down because I want there to be a little bit of movement in the card. Just pop another dot of glue on the back of that. Put that one up there somewhere. Just going to add a little birdie told me it was your birthday. I have yet to test the Nuvo gold pen so I'm going to pull off the ring. This is Aqua Shimmer Midas Touch. Got to push down very firmly and it won't stop turning. My lid doesn't want to come off. Give it a good shake. There we go. Oh. So we have, whoa, that pokes a punch of gold, but when you spread it out, very pretty. What I thought I would do is just add a touch to, I think I need to grab the watercolour pencils back again. It's going to add a touch of orange to their beaks. And then I'll add a touch of gold over the top of that. Just going to give a touch of gold shimmer to the flowers. That's the very pretty Midas touch. Well, I think I'll spread this out and then punch some things out of this so I don't waste it. Time to stop playing with that so I don't waste any more. Very pretty, so we've got lots of shimmer. I'm going to add tiny drops of Nuvo to the centres of my flowers. I don't know why my black does this. Oh no, I just made a big mess. Okay, that should settle down as it dries a bit. So that is card number one. I have grabbed this diamond press set and I have taken the hello and I've cut it out of white, just a scrap I had laying around four times and then a scrap of black once. Cut out a few of the hearts. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them or not yet. Now I'm going to grab the happy and I'm going to ink that up with the Nouveau Clear Mark. I might do that again just in case. I'm sure one of them will work. <laughs> Grabbing a folded piece of paper and I'm going to toss on some white embossing powder. I need to get some super fine detail white. One thing I don't have in my stash and I forgot to use my embossing tool. The last one is definitely the best. I'm just going to trim and then I am going to trim this one. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet so I'm just leaving both ends on it for now and I'll work it out. This is the diamond press hello today. Now first of all what I'm going to do is glue all these together. Doesn't matter if your cardstock's a little bit beat up or marked, no one is going to see it under here, so it's a good way to get rid of some slightly damaged white cardstocks. Or this one has a little bit of colour on it, but it doesn't matter because it's about to be hidden. Just going to grab a stamp block to put on that for a minute. I am just going to add a little bit of this repositionable two way glue and I'll let it dry. In the meantime, my daughter managed to grab me some press and seal from Costco. So while they are drying, I am going to cut out a piece of this. Now it needs to be bigger than my card. And then 
going to cut this piece and then I'll have another piece because I need two and I'll set that aside for a few minutes. Now that the glue is dry enough to use I'm going to place this where I want it for now. I'm going to grab my squeezed lemonade oxide and I'm going to start in the middle and work out with the colour. Now I'm going to start putting on some vines and I'm pressing them into the pressing seal to hold them in place. So I'm just going to take them off for a minute. Then I'm going to grab my other piece of press and seal and I'm going to press that to the leaves. Ah, I forgot something. I'm not going to use the second piece. What I'm going to do is actually take my glue and start just sticking tiny spots of glue underneath my leaves. They're already held in place, so I don't need to move them too much. So what the press and seal does is let me work on my placement because it can take me ages <laughs> to move everything around to get it where I want it. Whereas having this lets me work on my placement so that I can decide 100% where I want everything to be before I stick it down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is peel this off the back. Ah, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Whoa. It doesn't feel very sticky, but it doesn't seem to like this cardstock. And then I'm going to trim all these pieces off the side. I'm going to stick that on now, just so I know where I want to put my filler pieces. I'm using foam tape for sediment strip. couple of spots that need a tiny touch of glue so I'm going to add some glue to those. Now I'm going to grab some flowers. Okay I am just going to shape these like I did the last ones and then I'll be back. I am just gluing everything down. I thought I'd hit record but I hadn't so I've glued a few flowers already but that's okay. Just adding a dab of glue on the back and then pressing them down with my ball tool that I used to shape them. I've got this little leaf here. I'm just going to stick a little dab of glue on the back of that. Before I go any further, I'm going to stick this to my card base. I'm going to use the bright gold Nouveau drops because I couldn't get the... They, these are perfect. I couldn't get the black ones to work very well and I should have worked in the other direction but that's okay I'll just turn it around oh no my bottle rolled in it I might email them about my black drops because that's very annoying I'm going to take the aqua shimmer pen and I'm just going to randomly add some shimmer to some of these little flowers just for a little extra interest and there is my second card using the april hedgehog hollow kit card number one card number two I hope you enjoyed what I made with April's Hedgehog Hollow Box. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.